Hi Vedanti, how are you? I'm good, sir. Hope you're doing well. Yes, yes, I am doing good too. Thank you for asking. So, can you tell me the difference between list and set? Uh, sir, list as an array list uh, is that a better example, sir? Yeah, yeah. So, if you can take an example of uh, array list. Okay, so tell me the difference first between array list and linked list. Sir, array list, I believe, sir, array list is a dynamic array wherein the size of the uh, array changes are not like is an uh, array data type. Mm -hmm. And uh, sir, linked list, I believe, sir, linked list has, uh, so the, the reference, it has a reference element to the next element in, mm -hmm. in a particular, uh, so for example, a linked list has, uh, other than the value, it has two parameters. Uh, I'm sir not able to recall the what terminology it is used, but I believe sir in the in the parameter, the next parameter, the reference to the next value is written, sir. Mm -hmm. Basically, the address to the next value is written. Okay, okay. So let me tell you the difference between the two array list versus linked list. See, both are the types of list itself. So when you say uh, list array list is there and you say link list, so there will be a difference in the order of how you are arranging the elements between them. So let me showcase you if I can showcase you that thing. Mm. So is my screen visible? Uh, not yet, sir. Not yet. Okay, now is it visible? Yes, sir. See, array list is using a dynamic array mechanism to store the elements, whereas linked list, it uses a doubly linked list to store the elements. What happens in uh, this array list is, it is better for storing and accessing the data. Within the array list, if you have to arrange the elements, okay, so it will be simpler compared to linked list. Whereas in linked list, it would take the time. So what happens is if you are entering the elements in the linked list, it will take in the same order. Yes, sir. As you have yeah. entered. Whereas array list is not like that. So array list is consuming less memory because linked list is consuming more memory because it has to arrange those elements accordingly. It cannot go without any sequence. It will follow the same sequence, right? So linked list can act as a list and queue both, whereas array list can act as a list only because it implements a list only, right? So that is the difference between array list and linked list. So we were able to see the differences with respect to storage of the elements. We saw the difference with respect to the memory consumptions, how it has been happening and which is good for storing and accessing the data, right? So that is the difference between array list and the linked list. Okay, now Okay, what are the limitations of an array? Uh, so sir, array, the base, the mm -hmm. fundamental limitation is uh, the size, thus we can just define a number of uh, elements in the array. And uh, mm -hmm. Um, just I'm, I'm able to recall only this much, sir. No worries, no worries. It's totally fine. So, see, there are various limitations with respect to arrays in Java. So, let me share my screen. So, size of the array is fixed. You have a fixed size. So, if you say you have an array of size of 10 and you, with your requirement or with your automation script, you need the size of 12 elements, then you cannot use the same array. We'll have to create a new array for declaring those elements. This is one of the problem. Now consider the different situation. If you have an array of size 10, but you have only eight elements, then what's happening is you cannot use the remaining two remaining things. memory. So, yes. Sir. Yeah. So memory is being occupied, but it is not being used. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So it is something like you have done the payment, but you are not getting the ROI on that. You are not getting anything in return, right? So that is the shortfall of the 
array, right? So it needs continuous, continuous, uh, you can say memory locations to store the values. Okay, performance wise, it is expensive because, okay, now one more thing with respect to array. So let me show you here. So this is an example of how you will remove the element from the array list. So if you have to remove the element, let's say uh, this 23, you have to remove, okay, then it is happening like if you have to remove 23, again, you have to shift 7 to 6th location, 8th to 7th location, 9 to 8. So 7, 1, 10 also would be getting restructured, right? So that is an issue with the array list, okay? So these are the problems with respect to array list, you can tell. Okay. Now, um, Okay, what are the different types of linked list? Uh, sir, uh, doubly linked list, uh, which I can recall. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, you are correct. Doubly linked list is one of the uh, um, linked list, type of linked list. What else? I can just recall this much, sir. Okay, right. so... Let me share my screen. Okay. Is the screen visible? Yes, sir. Hmm. So there are three types of linked list that you will get. One is single linked list. One is doubly linked list. One is circular, circular linked list. list. Yeah. What is single linked list? So as the name itself says, the navigation is forward only. In the doubly linked list, forward, backward, both navigation is possible. You can go this way, you can go doubly linked list as the name itself suggests, right? Circular, that means last element is linked to the first, first element. Okay, now let's see this thing in detail. How will how you will represent a single linked list? So suppose you want to store these numbers, 23 is there, 54 is there, 78 is there, 90 is there, and these are all the locations, 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000. So you can have any locations, this is just for the example purpose. So these are the numbers. Now, what would happen is this 2000. So here you can see this box is empty. Okay. So this 2000 would be coming here. It would be referring to this element. Then 3000 would be coming here. It would be referring to this element. 4000 would be coming here. It would be referring to this element. So that's how you have the single link list. And last element is this position is null after 90. You will have null here. Okay. This is a single link list. And uh, you have this 1000, it is called as a head because it is one of the location where the entire link list is starting. Okay, so this is how it goes. So you have head, you have content and you have address of the next node. So head is an important thing, whatever the content or you can say the value that will be stored there, address of the next node. So you can also say pointer. So 3600 is there. With respect to this example, you have 3,200 is the head, 3,600 is coming, which is the address of the next node, which is 3 and 4,000. 4,000 is again the address of this node, where 17 value is there. Then 4,400 is the view of this particular node. Right? So that is the linked list example. Okay. Okay. Now, can you write a program in Java to reverse the string and the string is your name itself. You have to reverse the string in Java, right? So you can give it a try. I'm giving you screen sharing, right? So you can share your screen. Mm, yes, sir, allow me a moment. Mm -hmm. Or you can open Notepad plus plus whichever you are comfortable with. Right program. Sir, uh, is my uh, Notepad visible? Yes, yes, visible. Okay. Uh...
sir uh, mm -hmm. this code okay you are done so can you copy this code into the java compiler and you can paste it there and then let's see what is the output you are getting any any java compiler online you can search on google and open it So let me uh, share the entire screen. Or you can just share the Chrome browser or the Google where you have opened the browser. It's also fine. I'm getting errors. Mm -hmm. So what error you're getting? Okay. So error you're getting. Okay. Now, uh, can you explain what code you have written here? Uh, yes, sir. So for example, this temporary uh, string is a variable where we will be uh, passing the string and we'll calculate the length of the string, sir. We will navigate through the length of the screen by first. We have want to reverse it, sir. So we'll try to find the length. Mm -hmm. We'll try to find the length of the string. Uh, the obviously the length will be the last element uh, of that particular string, sir. So we'll try to, uh, you know, uh, we will have to take another variable. So we'll mm -hmm. we'll try by. So remember. Mm -hmm. So, sir, uh, first we'll go to the last element, uh, copy it at the first uh, location of the string. Then we'll decrease this uh, pointer by, I mean, the length of the screen. We'll try to navigate till the zeroth element of the sprint, and we'll this. That's how we'll um, okay. navigate. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, no worries. Let me show you the solution for this code. So, your screen sharing will be stopped. Um, yeah, is this screen visible? Yes. So you are taking one string, Vedanti, your name. Now, system dot or print talent. So you want to print this original string. Now, you what you are doing is you want to traverse the for loop with respect to the length, length of the string that you have. So that logic is absolutely correct that you have taken, but it is just that the programming thing that uh, you're not able to complete. But the logic is absolutely correct. Okay, so don't worry for the logic. So string, uh, you you will take this in a variable and let's say, which will be the length of the string. Now what you are doing is you are taking one more variable in which you'll be storing the reverse string once you get. And then the for loop that you'll be going for i equal to zero, i is less than n. You want to traverse till what value? Till the length of that particular string. And then you want to say i plus plus. Okay. So then you'll have this uh, character ch. So ch equal to str1 dot character. So you want to fetch each and every character. Okay, then you will concatenate the entire, all the characters the as a new string. So this will be the reverse of the string. Okay, simple. The logic that you took was simple. So, sorry, was the same was correct. And uh, that's how you will be doing this approach. Okay, now what is inheritance? Sir, inheritance is... Uh basically code reusability mm -hmm. i believe uh, we can define a parent class i can we can use the methods and the variables of the parent class into the child classes mm -hmm. so we we basically reuse the functions and the variables uh, in the parent class we call mm -hmm. that inheritance correct correct okay vedanti i am done with the interview so do you have any questions for me uh 